today's video we will be cleaning and resetting the bathroom it needs to be restocked and just a little deep clean from when we had work done in the ceiling on here so everything is just really dirty we need to go ahead and get this cleaned up so we can have a successful and productive week and if you have not subscribed to the channel please consider doing so with the post notifications turned on so you will never miss a upload and let's go ahead and jump into today's video Now for the bathroom, really almost everything needed to be cleaned. The um, towel on the back of the shower needed to be cleaned, the bathtub, the floor, toilets, sinks, mirrors, um, and we need to do some restocking. I honestly have not been restocking this bathroom, just dealing with the construction and stuff, and I just was not motivated to do so. But we're gonna go ahead and get that done and tackled in today's video. Now, as much as I absolutely do love cleaning with bleach, sometimes the chemicals and the smell from the actual product can be a little overwhelming for me. So I always end up having to open up this window. And this is the Clorox and it is for, I believe, the mold and mildew uh, killer. I believe that is the one that I was using, but I will show y'all all the products that I use to clean this bathroom in today's video. Once I was done cleaning the tub and shower, I went ahead and moved on to clean the toilet. Um, I really am just going to use these Clorox wipes, spray everything down. I'm trying to really get out of the habit of using like any type of cleaning cloths or anything with cleaning the toilets. I would much rather use paper towels or the Clorox wipes to wipe the products down on the toilet. Call me up whenever you're feeling low. Emulate your mind, we can't take it slow You got me going crazy now Falling into you Cause you're on my mind Jump, jump on it Put him up, put him up Come and show me Just let me 
In an effort to help with the moisture that is in the bathroom after we take um, really hot showers, I did go ahead and buy a dehumidifier for the bathroom. It is just a small one that's going to sit in between the toilet and the sink. Um, but the only bad thing is about it, this bathroom does not really have any electrical outlets. So we have one that we screw into the light fixture, but of course that only stays on when the light is on. And so that powers on the dehumidifier so the light does have to be on a little bit longer than what it normally would be just so we can keep this running after, and we're only going to use this after showers and probably have to crack the window just to help um, eliminate um, the mold and mildew from coming back into the bathroom because we don't really have any other type of ventilation in here so for now this is going to have to do it does have this easy little um, access point in the back where you just pull it out and then dump the water after I got done with putting the dehumidifier in there I had literally about two loads of towels and washcloths that I need to go ahead and get folded so that we can restock these in the bathroom
We are almost to the end of today's video. Just want to jump back on and say thank you so much for being here. I appreciate any type of support that you have offered, whether it's a like, camera, uh, like, comment, <laughs> share, or even if you decided to subscribe. I do have more cleaning motivation um, coming your way because like, we are literally resetting this whole home. Almost every single room had work done. And I will see y'all in next video. Have a great day.